Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Shay, nice to meet you. Yes, today is going to be a favorites video. Um, it's the 21st, and it's a little bit early to be filming a monthly favorites. However, I have been using a lot of these products for several months now, so I figured it was all good. Before we get started with all the amazingness, I do want to give a quick shout out to Emily Price. You are my first subscriber on this channel, so go you. Thank you so much. Love having ya. Um, yeah, so, yeah. So anyway, let's get started on some awesome beauty products. So first up, primer. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. It's primer and moisturizer in one. Um, honestly, it's just so hydrating. I love it. I do usually like double up on primers, if I'm honest, because I'm just extra like that. But this one, if you've got drier skin, it's really good. And also, um, if you're a skier or a snowboarder during the winter, you need to check this out because this would be the perfect thing to layer under your makeup if you're wearing makeup on the slopes because with the wind and the cold weather and everything, it just takes a toll on your skin. So I know it's a little early to be talking like skiing and stuff, but you need this if you are going to be doing it. Check it out. It's got hyaluronic and niacinamide, but it just helps retain moisture and it's so good and it helps your makeup just lay really smooth on your skin and it's just awesome. So. Smashbox, yes. Next up is another primer, but it's for your eyes, and it's also Smashbox. I feel like Smashbox just does like really good primers, so if you've never used any of them, you should totally check them out. Not sponsored or anything, but if they want to ever sponsor me when this channel gets a little bit larger, then that would be cool. Um, but yeah, so this is the 24 hour shadow primer. Honestly, I just love this stuff to pieces. Um, I use this personally, I have it in my kit to use on my clients. I use this like 98% of the time at the store when I'm doing makeovers or like anything. This is what I recommend because whether you have oily lids, dry lids, anything, it's just super perfect and it doesn't crease, it doesn't wear off. It's just like, it literally, I've never tested it for 24 hours, but I've had it on for a good 17, 18 and it still looks really good, so. Next up, I've got two highlighting powders. The first one is a Bobbi Brown highlighting powder. This is in the color Pink Glow. Um, this is what it looks like. I I've made a little bit of a dent in there, as you can see. So, yeah, but it's just a really pretty, like, subtle highlight. If you want one that's really glowy, but not, like, glittery or, like, out of this world glow kind of thing, this one's really good. They have a bronze one as well, so if you've got a little bit deeper skin tone and you want more golden, it would just be, like, super perfect. But I think Bobbi Brown does really, really well with their highlighting powders. But this is what it looks like. Um, I don't have that one on today. I have the other one on. But, I don't know, it's just super really, it's just super really, it's just super pretty, and yeah, so, I don't know if you would see it, that's what it looks like swatched, but you can see it's just, it's more of that kind of wet looking glow rather than like glittery, so if you like more subtle kind of highlights like I said, definitely check this one out, um, it's also really pretty on the eyes or like the inner corner or anything, love. The next one is from Fenty Beauty, and I'm sure you guys are all sick of hearing about Fenty Beauty, but I do really like this highlighter. This is the one in Me Money and Hustler Baby, and I will say I do use this one more. Um, what is that one? Hustler Baby, I think. Yeah, um, the more like intense one. So when I'm doing it on my cheeks, I kind of just swirl them both together because this one, the Me Money, is going to be more subtle, but. Yeah, so for my cheeks, I just swirl them all together, put it on, I don't know if you can see, here, I'll just kind of swatch them together, <laughs> you can see it on my hand. Um, again, I don't know if you can really see it, this is what, you can't really see it, but honestly, there's so many swatches online right now of this, so, totally, but, anywho, um, yeah, so I've got this on my cheeks now, just mixed together. On my eyelids right now, I actually have this. So again, this works really well as eyeshadow and as a cheek highlight. And like, it's just really pretty. I know Fenty is like being super hyped up right now, um, but she does have some really good products. So if you've never checked it out, you probably aren't gonna get your hands on the foundation if I'm being honest right now, but highlights are pretty. Okay, next product, I have some concealer. So this is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I have two different colors. We got one of them actually in gratis from work and the one I got matched my skin like perfect. 
but if I want to do a little bit like highlighted areas or anything under the eyes, I needed something lighter. So I went out and purchased, I just dropped it. I went out and purchased a lighter shade. So I have a light and then a very fair. They just work so well. Um, they are like a fuller coverage, I would say, but they don't feel really heavy on the skin. Also, I don't know if this is something they claim, but I feel like they blur out pores. Like... When I'm doing the triangle of light under my eye, I just feel like in this area, I have a little bit larger pores, and I'm like, where did they go? Awesome. So, if you guys like the sound of blurred pores, great coverage, smooth finish, also coconut water in it for hydration, definitely check these out, because honestly, I just can't say enough good things about this concealer. Next up, I have a couple mascaras. Um, I'll do this one first. This is what I have on right now on my lashes. This is the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I have used this before, um, but generally when I'm doing mascara, once I finish a tube, I get bored so easily. I like to try out new ones, so once I finish one tube, I will switch to a different mascara. Just because also I have so many mascaras that I have to be able to go through and test out that I get from work, so I mean, why not? But like I said, I've used it before, I really liked it, and I just fell back in love with it when I started using it again. It gives really nice length to the lashes, it lifts the lashes really well. I do still curl my lashes, but because of the wand and the formula not being super heavy, it doesn't like um, weigh them down when I'm using them. I really like it. It gives good, a little bit of volume, not like a ton, but a little bit, and it's not clumpy at all. So I do like that. The wand is kind of like a scoop. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it's like a scoop deal. So I kind of twist it when I'm going up. Um, but like I said, I can layer it a couple times without it getting clumpy. And it just gives really nice definition to the lashes while also building them up really well. And yeah, I don't know. I like it. Anyway, the next one is from Lancome. So whereas that one I said didn't give like a ton of volume, but it was really nice for length and curling and definition, this one gives monster volume. This is the Monsieur Big from Lancome, like I said, and it gives great volume. Oh my god, I just broke it. Okay. What is going on here? Let me... Oh my god. I literally just broke my mascara. Oh, nope, I fixed it. The stopper, I just like yanked out. Apparently I'm super strong, I didn't know my own strength. But, this is what it looks like. Hopefully it's not going to clump up my lashes now that I just did that. But, um, great volume and kind of gives a little bit of everything. Like monster volume, a little bit of length. If you don't like any clumpiness, I wouldn't suggest layering it. Um, I don't usually do more than two layers anyway and I don't have an issue with it. But, I don't know. If you want false looking lashes, try this one because super good. Go to your local Sephora, um, grab a tester wand and dip it in. Longcomb is actually really good about sending tester wands so you can actually use the wand that pairs with the mascara. So I don't know, but ask one of the girls or guys that works there and they should be able to help out. But test it out because it's real good. Alright, so next I have a brow product and this is one I have been using on and off for years since it was launched. Um, and this is the Benefit Gimme Brow. Packaging's changed slightly since it was released but it's really good. If you've never used it before or don't know what it is, basically, if you've never used this product, it's got this tiny little brush. You just brush it through your brows and it will volumize the hair. So it makes it look filled in without having to like pencil in or overdraw your brows because it's only gonna work with the hair you have. With that said, if you've got a lot of sparse areas to the brow, you may still need a pencil to kind of fill those areas in, but if you've got pretty full brows, you just want a little bit of something to make them look a little bit more polished, a little bit fuller, this is an awesome product. It fills in your brows, it shapes your brows, it sets your brows, it does everything. So, especially on lazy days, this is like my favorite. My favorite. I've got a couple eyeshadow palettes that I want to share with you guys. This first one is a little beat up. I use it literally every single day that I do eyeshadow every single day. No matter what palette I am going into, I use this for at least one shade. That is my, I didn't even show you what it was, that is my Pat Bundy Shade and Light Eyeshadow Palette. This is what it looks like if you have been living under a rock and have never seen it. All matte shades, you've got neutral, you've got cool tone, you've got warm tone. It works to define the crease, like it basically is like a contouring eye palette kind of deal. 
So this one, you can see these two, I've definitely hit pan on. This one I use as my base shade. I use this as my crease most days. This one to define. I use these two lighter shades for my brow bone. I just mix them. The black I use a lot for eyeliner. Today I've got this one in my crease though with this to deepen it up. And then I've got this darker brown for my eyeliner kind of shade. But I just, oh my gosh, I love this palette so much. You could use it even on the face if you really wanted to. Some of these feel like contour shades, but I don't know. It's just, it is so good. If you are somebody who you just want one palette to work with all seasons, you have different varieties of undertones, and then you just want like maybe one or two single shimmer shades for the lid, go for this one. Super good. So the next palette you've probably, again, seen all over YouTube. It is the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe. Um, if you've not seen it, this is what it looks like on the inside. You've just got a really nice variety, warm shades, cool shades, neutrals. You've got um, shimmer and luster kind of glitter. You've got matte, you've got everything. These shades down here work really well for like liner shades. It is just an all around amazing palette. It's really blendable, it's really creamy, soft, good stuff. All right, I've got like three minutes before I have to leave for work, so we're gonna breeze through these last products. All right. Jack Black Lip Balm, if you've never used this, it's like six fifty, seven bucks. you need to. During the winter months, they come out with like four packs for like $20, $25. So good. I love this before bed. Really nourishing to the lips um, without feeling too heavy. It doesn't feel sticky on the lips. It's just really good stuff. Um, and next, I've got a NYX Butter Gloss because these are just all around amazing. This shade that I like for the fall time is Angel Food Cake. But again, not sticky at all. They've got a little bit of color, but not so much that you feel like you really need to watch your face to make sure it doesn't smear. Not that it's ever smeared on me, but it's just like really good stuff. And it's really hydrating. That's another big thing. In the cooler months, you want your lip stuff to be hydrating or something hydrating on your lips. And I love it for that. All right. Ah, stressful. Um, this Clinique lipstick, it's in the color Nude Pop. You can see I have used quite a bit of it. Like, this is all I have left. That is it. Um, I get a lot of questions about this when I wear it. Um, clients are wanting to know what it is, what color it is. I show it to them, and most of the time they end up purchasing it. It's just a really good everyday, like, nude pink lip color. It works with a lot of different skin tones. It's really comfortable to wear. It's creamy. Um, it's not super glossy, but it's got a little bit of a shine to it. And it's just, it's a great everyday if you don't like a lot of, like, lip color. Basically, if you like the opposite of what I have on right now, then you will like this. If you want to know what I have on now, though, it is from NARS. It is one of their satin lip pencils in the shade Magella, and it is so comfortable to wear. It doesn't really like bleed or anything like that, but if you like a softer matte finish, um, then the satin ones are really good because they're creamier, but they're not like glossy. So. Yes, and like I said, this is Magella, and it's super fall appropriate, and super comfortable, and super pretty, and super everything. So yeah. Anyway, that is all of my October favorites. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Sorry that was just so fast, but I have to leave for work, like I said. And I still wanted to get this filmed, because I just really wanted to film today. But yeah, if you guys did like it, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe for more. I have a lot more videos coming your way. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what you would like to see in the future. And yeah, all right. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.